Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 12th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Back after a week uh, off during the 4th of July holiday, I'm joined with by Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for taking some time today. Thanks, Mike. So the market was obviously quiet during the 4th of July holiday week. It kicked back into gear with a decent slate of new issue pricings and then a uh, big surprise in the economic data front at the end of the week when uh, consumer prices came out on Thursday. What did you see and how did the market react? Yeah, what started out as a fairly benign week after the holiday got pretty interesting yesterday after CPI came in, uh, like you said, lower than expected uh, prior to the CPI number. Uh, Treasury market and munis had really been pretty unchanged for most of the week. Uh, earlier in the week, some of Fed Chair Powell's commentary in Washington and some very strong 3, 10 and 30 year Treasury auction results kind of ended up combining to mute uh, sort of a range bound trading week uh, for the most part. Uh, and then yesterday morning, CPI did come in lower than expected. So uh, we ended up seeing a print of negative 0.1% uh, month over month versus a, a positive 0.1% consensus on the headline number, uh, and then 0.1% uh, versus 0.2% uh, consensus month over month uh, ex food and energy. And that brought year over year readings to uh, just 3% versus 3.1% consensus uh, on the headline and 3.3 versus 3.4 consensus ex food and energy. So those are a little bit lower than expected. Uh, and, and really sparked a rally in rates uh, as it gave the market conviction that, uh, that the Fed is gaining the data points it needs to start cutting. So whether that happens sooner than expected uh, will depend on some more readings, but it certainly seems that the sentiment uh, for a September cut is uh, almost a certainty. So that, uh, that really gave uh, both equities, uh, gave the equity markets a boost uh, and then also uh, put some uh, wind in the sails of the treasury market, and we saw um, rally in, in interest rates. Uh, so week over week, we saw treasury yields drop by about 13 basis points in two years, uh, which are currently sitting at about a 447, uh, eight basis point drop in 10 years, uh, which is currently yielding about a 419, and then a seven basis, po seven basis point drop out long in 30 years, uh, which is currently sitting at about a 441. Um, and the muni market really followed suit. Um, you know, we're uh, with the exception of the very front end of the muni curve, which rallied all week long. Most of the MMD curve was unchanged uh, until yesterday. And then we saw a, uh, a bump of five to six basis points kind of top to bottom. So current read today is mostly steady, uh, quiet Friday summer uh, trading session. So ultimately, we expect to see muni rates uh, should end the week at about 15 to 16 basis points lower in yield in about two years, and then around five to seven basis points lower for most of the rest of the curve. Uh, overall, it was a fairly, um, you know, fairly active week uh, coming off the, the quiet holiday. Uh, we did see Lipper report another week of positive fund flows. There was another 775 million in fresh cash into tax exempt bond funds. Uh, and supply this week bounced back from the July 4th lull, uh, not surprisingly. And we saw nearly 10 billion of new issues priced this week. Uh, and really, by most reads, uh, all of that was uh, was pretty well received across the board. A lot of commentary we're hearing from market analysts. There's also a lot of bonds, uh, redemptions and coupon payments coming into the market this month. So in addition to those strong inflows, which are some of the strongs we've seen uh, probably this, you know, over the last quarter, um, you are having that other cash kind of passively coming back into the market for reinvestment. Uh, this next week's calendar, I know, is $11 billion, kind of concentrated, right? A couple of really large transactions. But um, in the BAM insured world, uh, let, let's start by last week because it was a good week, uh, just under $300 million priced in the new issue market. What deals stood out there? And then let's, let's talk about what's ahead. Yeah, another, again, active for BAM. Uh, some of the highlight deals uh, for us this week included $92 million deal for the University of South Alabama, which carried underlying ratings of A1 and A plus by Moody's and S&P. Uh, that deal was priced by J.P. Morgan. Uh, we were also on a $48 million deal for Southern Utah Valley Power System, uh, which carried underlying ratings of A- minus by S&P, and that was priced by Stiefel. And then also a $30 million transaction for Cathedral City tax allocation bonds, uh, which had two series. Uh, one carried uh, underlying ratings of A+, plus, the other underlying ratings at A-, minus, and that was priced by Raymond James. And next week, the calendar keeps building with about $11.5 billion scheduled to price in the new issue market. 
Um, BAM has several notable transactions in the pipeline, including a $106 million transaction for Carmel, Indiana, uh, which is going to be priced by Stiefel Nicholas, as well as a $60 million transaction for Beaumont, Texas, Water and Sewer, which is going to be priced by Estrada. And encourage viewers to go to BAM's YouTube page to watch our latest Credit Insights video, which is on that city of Beaumont transaction. Mohamed Zawai, one of our underwriters, talks about how he analyzed the transaction, including how he incorporated disaster risk into his analysis, uh, something that was very much in the spotlight this week when Hurricane Beryl was, uh, did not uh, directly strike the city, but was definitely in the area on the Texas Gulf Coast. So something for investors to think about as they go forward. And Mohamed explains uh, how that works into our analysis. Thanks for your time, Brian. This week, uh, we've got a couple more weeks before the Fed meeting. It's kind of late in the calendar for the uh, the summertime. It's not until July 31st. So I'm sure in our uh, coming weekly videos, we'll have more insight on how the market uh, is handicapping odds of a rate cut. But we'll uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Mike.